Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS and the radio. I'm Andrea. And I'm Gabe. And in this lesson, we are still finding out how to talk about tea houses and dining out. So listen for these in today's lesson. Yes, we are in Hualien, and it is fun meeting new friends and learning from them. Let's look at our key words for today. Our first one is burn. Burn. The fire started in the kitchen and burned everything in the house. Spill. Spill. Josh is not careful. He often spills his drinks. Touch. Touch. Don't touch anything. I'm painting this room. Server. Server. In America, waiters are called servers. Lie. Lie. Don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. Well, here's the truth. We're going to review these keywords one more time. Burn. Burn. Spill. Spill. Touch. Touch. Server. Server. Lie. Lie. Well done, everyone. Now let's go see Eddie. Ah,、uh, all right, Andrea. Yeah. Don't lie, but tell me truly, am I very cute? Well, <laughs> Eddie, of course you are very cute. I am not lying. You're not lying. I'm not lying. Ah,、uh, you see that? <laughs> That's nice. Okay, today's mission. What does Patty say about tea in America? What does Patty say about tea in America? We'll find out today. Let's begin with conversation A. I haven't had traditional tea like this for years. We usually use tea bags in America. Are you sure you didn't burn your fingers, Patty? Yeah, I'm okay. Look. My fingers aren't even red. These little teacups get really hot, really fast. I remember now. How's your tea, Patty? It's wonderful. You should try some of mine too. Okay. Well, it seems like Patty is enjoying her tea. She says it's wonderful. Now, if you really like something. You can say this too. It's wonderful. You know what? I really enjoy today. I think it's wonderful. And it's wonderful that you joined us today. Do you know what else is wonderful? Well, we found the answer to today's mission. The question is, what does Patty say about tea in America? What does Patty say about tea in America? Here's the answer. We usually use tea bags in America. Now, tea bags are different from the way they do things in Asia. How so? Well, usually in Asia, people drink tea that is just in the pot. It's not all together in a bag. So the tea leaves are just in the pot, and then you add water. But sometimes you have to be careful not to drink. The tea leaves, and you want to be careful not to drink too fast, especially if the water is hot, because you might get burned. Our keyword is burn. Burn. Now, when you burn yourself, that means you hurt yourself because something is too hot. You know, Andrea, if I drink hot drinks too quickly, and I'm not careful. Then I may burn my tongue, and that really hurts. Well, that's true. Ouch! But I'm glad Patty didn't burn herself. Her fingers aren't even red. 
Many times, if you burn yourself, your skin or your fingers will turn red. That's right, and that's not very comfortable. Ouch! Derek, you burned me. What? No, I didn't, Jim. Yes, you did. You spilled a pot of tea on me. Look at my clothes. They're all wet. And so is my arm. Uh, I'm really sorry. How did that happen? I didn't touch your teapot. Yes, you did. You are a terrible server. You should be fired. Derek should be fired? Wait a minute. Why should Derek be fired? Well, I don't know, but Jim says that Derek spilled a pot of tea on him. Now, is he telling the truth? I'm not sure, but we do need to take a look at that key word there: spill. Spill. To spill something means to have water or something else poured out, but not on purpose. You didn't mean to do it, but there's water on the ground. You have spilled the water. So if you are pouring water into a cup, but you pour too much water in, some water might spill over the cup and spill onto the floor or spill on the table. And Jim says that Derek has spilled a pot of tea all over him. But Derek says, "I didn't touch your teapot." And let's look at this keyword, touch. Touch. You use your hand or your fingers to touch something by putting your hand on it. I am touching my clipboard right now. Right now, Gabe and I are not touching, but if we put our hands together, we are touching. Our hands are touching each other. That's right. Touch, touch. And let's look at this next keyword: server. Server. Everyone, we have learned about waitresses and waiters, and here is another word that means the same thing: server. So, a server is either a man or a woman who is serving you at a restaurant. A server takes your order at a restaurant. Fired? No, I really need this job. Excuse me. I'm sure it was just an accident. How do you know? Did you see it happen? Well, no. Did anyone here see what happened? That's what I thought. Derek wouldn't spill hot tea on you on purpose. Well, he did. I am going to talk to your boss. 老板，老板。Excuse me, but Jim is lying. Whoa, whoa! Jim is lying. Gabe, do you think he's lying? Do I think that Jim is lying? <laughs> yes, I certainly do think that Jim is lying. Well, I know that we have a key word to learn, so let's do that together. Our key word is the verb lie. Lie. Now, when you lie, that means you say something that is not true. When you lie, you say something that you want other people to believe is true, but it's not. So, Andrea, is lying good? No, Gabe, lying is not good. We should tell the truth. So, if you are thinking about telling somebody something. Make sure that you tell them the truth. Don't tell a lie about somebody, because telling lies can hurt other people. Well, that's true. Okay, I'm going to tell you something right now, Gabe. Listen carefully. Okay. I'm going to tell you that I am 18 years old. <laughs> Andrea, you're 18. Well, are you lying to me? You look like you're 12. <laughs> oh. Oh, 
Oh, nice, Gabe. I see, but you're right. I'm not telling the truth. I was lying. But just to help you all understand this word. That's right. So, tell the truth, do not lie. Conversation Replay. traditional tea like this for years. We usually use tea bags in America. Are you sure you didn't burn your fingers, Patty? Yeah, I'm okay. Look, my fingers aren't even red. These little teacups get really hot really fast. I remember now. How's your tea, Patty? It's wonderful. You should try some of mine, too. Okay. Ouch! Derek, you burned me. What? No, I didn't, Jim. Yes, you did. You spilled a pot of tea on me. Look at my clothes. They're all wet. And so is my arm. Uh, I'm really sorry. How did that happen? I didn't touch your teapot. Yes, you did. You are a terrible server. You should be fired. Fired? No, I really need this job. Excuse me, I'm sure it was just an accident. How do you know? Did you see it happen? Well, no. Did anyone here see what happened? That's what I thought. Derek wouldn't spill hot tea on you on purpose. Well, he did. I am going to talk to your boss. Lao Ban, Lao Ban. Excuse me, but Jim is lying. Calendar phrase. Welcome back, everyone. Today's calendar phrase is. Uh -huh. Try some of mine. Try some of mine. Mmm, Gabe, look at this candy. It looks really good. Andrea, your candy looks great. But look, this candy does not look very good. And it doesn't smell very good either. Well, Gabe, why don't you try some of mine? I can try some of yours? Yes, you can. And friends, you can try learning more with our calendar phrase skip. Try some of mine. Try some of mine. Do you like chocolate ice cream? I don't know. I've never tried it. What? Try some of mine. Are you sure? Yes. Try some of mine. Okay. Wow, that is good. Do you like strawberry ice cream? I'm not sure. Here, try some of mine. Okay. Mmm, I like it. Let's trade. Okay. You eat my ice cream and I'll eat yours. Try some of mine. Try some of mine. Well, friends, soon it's time to go. But wait, before we go, we have to practice with the... Uh, 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 question of the day. Yes, and you got it. <sighs> now, can you give us the question? Yes, the question of the day is, do you think the man is lying? Why or why not? Do you think the man is lying? Why or why not? You know, I think the man is lying because he kind of looks like he's lying. Hmm, well, we will find out tomorrow, so please join us here on Let's Talk in English. On PTS and the radio. And you know what, friends? Learning English can be fun. fun. <laughs> See you. Bye-bye. That's bye. right, Eddie. <laughs> Bye-bye. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS and on the radio. My name is Gabe. And I'm Andrea. Today, we are going to finish our week in Hualien. 
And it has been an exciting week. It has been an exciting week. And Patty, we see here, is writing in her journal all about her week and the exciting things that are happening. Well, let's look at our key words for the day. Our first one is leaf. Leaf. In the fall in America, many green leaves change to yellow, orange, or red. Instead of. Instead of. Let's play games tonight instead of watching TV. Yummy. Yummy. This cake is yummy. Can I have another piece? Skin. Skin. Sally has pretty skin. It is very white. Bottle. Bottle. The baby drinks milk out of a bottle. Jealous. Jealous. Kelly is jealous of her brother. He gets to stay up later than her. Okay, everybody, listen for these words in today's lesson. And now, let's go see what today's mission is. Eddie? Hello. Uh, has, has anyone seen my bottle of, of honey? Is that our mission for the day? No, I, no, no. I don't. No, it's really so. yummy. Where's my bottle? Oh, I'm sorry. Your bottle of honey? We don't know, but we want to know what the mission for the mm -hmm. day is. Oh, I know that one. Oh, you want to know it? Okay. Today's mission. How did Patty know that Jim lied? How did Patty know that Jim lied? Well, that's a good question. And let's see if we can find out the answer to this mission in today's lesson. Let's go there now. Dear Journal, I'm having Taiwan adventures already. Grandma and Roger took me to a traditional tea house yesterday. The building was beautiful and the tea was delicious. I liked drinking tea made from tea leaves instead of tea bags. I also liked the blood rice cake. It was yummy. Grandma told me about other tea houses she has been to. She has lived in Taiwan for 50 years, so she's been to a lot of tea houses. Well, everyone, what are we looking at right now? What is Patty writing in, Andrea? She is writing in her journal, and we get to read and learn from what she is writing. That's right, she is having adventures there in Hualien. She says that she likes drinking tea made from leaves instead of tea bags. And let's look at those key words. The first one is leaf. Leaf. A leaf is something that grows on trees or bushes or other kinds of plants. Even flowers have leaves. So tea leaves come from tea plants. You take those leaves off the plant and you make tea from them. And Patty loves drinking tea from tea leaves instead of tea bags. Well, let's look at these key words. Instead of. Instead of. Instead of is a phrase you use when you are talking about two things. If you want to do one thing more than the other, you would say, I would like to do this instead of that. I can say I would like to play basketball instead of watching basketball on TV. Or I can say I would like to take the bus instead of a taxi because it's cheaper. And I would like to keep learning instead of stopping right now. That's a great idea. Let's look at this next keyword, yummy. Yummy. 
This is a word that you can use when you think something tastes great. You can say it tastes yummy. So when you try something that is delicious, that tastes great, you can say, mm, it is yummy. And blood rice cakes are <laughs> yummy. yummy. Well, at least Patty thinks they are yummy. A really exciting thing happened at the tea house. A customer, Jim, said that Derek, our server, spilled hot tea on him and burned him. But Jim didn't act like he was in pain. Also, if Jim's skin were burned, it should be red and hot. His arm was wet, but not red. So, I knew he lied. Well, Patty is having an exciting time in Taiwan. She is writing about it in her journal. We also find out that Jim was lying, don't we, Gabe? Jim was lying. I knew it, and I'm glad that he was lying because now Derek will not get fired. That's right. I'm also glad that we found the answer to today's mission. The question is... How did Patty know that Jim lied? How did Patty know that Jim lied? If Jim's skin were burned, it should be red and hot. Now, Andrea, Jim's skin was wet, but not red or hot. And that's how Patty knew that Jim was lying. Well, friends, we saw a key word in the answer to the mission. Let's learn it. It is skin. Skin. Now skin covers your whole body. Look at your hand. You can see skin. You have your fingers and your thumb. Skin covers your hand. So skin is the part of your body that everybody else can see. Um, Andrea, is your stomach part of your skin? Well, no, but your stomach has skin over it. Okay, it has skin over it, but nobody else can see the insides, but what we can see is your skin. And everybody has different kinds of skin. Some people have white skin, some people have dark skin. That's what makes everyone special. That's right. Then we checked Jim's table. His pot of tea was almost full, and we found a half-empty water bottle. Jim must have poured the water on himself. We found out that Jim is jealous of Derek. Jim wanted Derek's job, but the boss hired Derek instead of Jim. Well, I'm going to bed. It's only 8 o'clock, but jet lag is making me so tired. The Taiwan Traveler, Patty. Well, we know that Jim was lying, and this is an exciting adventure. Let's keep looking as we see that Jim had a half-empty water bottle. That's pretty amazing. He had a half-empty water bottle. Let's look at this word. Bottle. Bottle. A bottle is something that you use to keep water in or other kinds of drinks or liquids. A bottle. You can take a bottle with you wherever you go. You can have a bottle of water. Or if you go to a store, you can find bottles of juice or bottles of soda. That's right. So Jim had a half-empty water bottle, or you could also say he had a half-empty bottle of water. And why would he do this, Andrea? Why would he spill water on himself? Well, we found out he did this because he was jealous. He was jealous. And let's look at that word. Jealous. Jealous. Jealous is an adjective that describes the feeling you get when you want something that somebody else has. Jim was jealous of Derek. He wanted something that Derek had. And you know, we are not jealous. Movie Minute.
Today on Travel Hualien, we're in the Ling Tian Shan Ling Ye Cultural Center. Walking through this cultural center is like going back to the past. There are old houses and things from the past that remind you of the old days. Back in the 1960s, the logging industry, Fa Mu Ye, in Ling Tian Shan grew. Many workers and their families moved to this area. There were more than 400 households and more than 2,000 people. So people built schools, stores, churches, and other buildings. But soon the logging stopped. Most people left afterwards. But there is still rich history in Ling Tian Shan. The government decided to rebuild the area. They fixed the old logging building and made it into a museum. Now it looks like it did in the past. Inside the building, there are old logging tools and other things people used in the past. Long ago, people used these tools to cut the different kinds of wood. You can also see old projectors, Toingji. In the past, people watched movies using these projectors. Now, these projectors are valuable reminders of the past. After a nice walk through the museum, enjoy a hot cup of coffee and snack at the coffee shop. It's a great way to spend an afternoon. Conversation Replay Dear Journal, I'm having Taiwan adventures already. Grandma and Roger took me to a traditional tea house yesterday. The building was beautiful and the tea was delicious. I liked drinking tea made from tea leaves instead of tea bags. <laughs> I also liked the blood rice cake. It was yummy. Grandma told me about other tea houses she has been to. She has lived in Taiwan for 50 years, so she's been to a lot of tea houses. A really exciting thing happened at the tea house. A customer, Jim, said that Derek, our server, spilled hot tea on him and burned him. But Jim didn't act like he was in pain. Also, if Jim's skin were burned, it should be red and hot. His arm was wet, but not red. So, I knew he lied. Then, we checked Jim's table. His pot of tea was almost full, and we found a half-empty water bottle. Jim must have poured the water on himself. We found out that Jim is jealous of Derek. Jim wanted Derek's job, but the boss hired Derek instead of Jim. Well, I'm going to bed. It's only 8 o'clock, but jet lag is making me so tired. The Taiwan Traveler, Patty. Hello again, everybody. Now let's find out what the question of the day is. Eddie, the question, please. The question of the day is, did you ever get burned? Talk about it. Did you ever get burned? Talk about it. Well, yes, I got burned, but it was a sunburn. My skin got very red and... It hurt a lot. Yes, sunburns do hurt a lot. Well, everyone, we want to thank you for joining us here on Let's Talk in English. On PTS and the radio. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody, and welcome here to Let's Talk in English on PTS <laughs> and the radio. My name is Gabe. And my name's Andrea. We are so glad you joined us. We have an exciting show 
just for you. That's right, and we have some keywords, so let's look at those right now. Our first one is presentation. Presentation. Martha is working on a presentation for her boss. Our next keyword is present. Present. Susie will present a speech in English tomorrow. Cultural. Cultural. Going to a museum is a cultural experience. Well done. Now let's say these keywords together one more time. Our first one is presentation. Presentation. Present. Present. Cultural. Cultural. Good. Now listen for these key words in today's lesson. And now it's time for us to find out what today's mission is. Eddie? Yes. Well, today I would love to present to you today's mission. <laughs> wow. Eddie, huh? you're going to give us a presentation? Yeah. Yeah, okay, it's a short presentation. Here it is. Today's mission. Where is the winter carnival? Where is the winter carnival? Where is the winter carnival? Well, everybody, listen closely and maybe you'll find out where the answer to today's mission is in today's lesson. Let's go there now. Hi, Sarah. How was school? Great. We're doing presentations on world festivals. My presentation is next week. Which festival will you talk about? The Winter Carnival in Quebec. I can make snow cones for everyone. Great idea. I can help you. Or you could present Australia Day and talk about the cockroach races. I can help you. I found some cockroaches. Ben found some cockroaches. I think this is great. Andrea, do you like cockroaches? Uh, no, Gabe. I do not like cockroaches, and I don't think this is great. Oh, really? Um, well, do you like school? Yes, I like school. Well, good, because Sarah is in school, and she has a presentation that she needs to do. Let's look at this keyword, presentation. Presentation. When you speak to a group of people about something that you studied, that's called a presentation. You might give a presentation in your class. Your teacher will tell you different things that you have to learn about. Then you share what you learned with other people in a presentation. So sometimes in high school or in college, or even at your job, you might have to do presentations. We can also say you give presentations. And when you give presentations, you present something. Let's look at this next key word, present. Present. When you are giving a presentation, you are presenting something. So present is the verb. When you're presenting about something, you are sharing the information that you learned to present. That's right. And in this conversation, we also learned something else. Sarah is presenting about what, Andrea? Well, I think she's presenting about the answer to today's mission. The answer to today's mission, which is, where is the winter carnival? Where is the winter carnival? The Winter Carnival is in Quebec. That is the answer. Ben, you brought cockroaches into our house? Sarah, they're safe in the box. Don't worry. When is this Winter Carnival in Quebec? In February. It's the biggest Winter Carnival in the world. There are many cultural events. And they have a night parade. We should go. No, thanks. I'll stay with my new friends. 
So Ben does not want to go to the winter carnival. He says he'll stay with his new friends. Now, Gabe, who are his new friends? His new friends are the cockroaches. Ben brought them into the house. I know. I don't think this is a very good idea, but friends, I do think it's a good idea for us to learn our key word. Say it with me. It is cultural. Cultural. Now first, let's look at the beginning of this word, culture. Now your culture talks about the way you live, the language that you speak, and the place that you live. That's right. In a culture, there are many people and they all share these things. How you live, how you speak, these kinds of things are called cultural. And I'm interested in cultural things. Are you? Well, when you're interested in cultural things, you like to learn about different cultures. Our conversation says that there are many cultural events at the Winter Carnival. So you can learn about the culture of Quebec when you go there. That's right. And that word event means something that happens, especially something that many people go to watch. This is an event. And events are usually very important and interesting. Song time. What would you, what would you do? There comes a time you gotta make up your mind. There's always a decision Game? to be made. Game? The choice is Game? dreams, dreams, hey. Gabe, you look very silly. What are you doing? It's okay, I'm listening to a new song. Okay, okay. Sounds good. Well, tell me about the song. Okay, this song is called What Would You Do? It's about choices. Listen to this. There comes a time you have to make up your mind. There's always whoa, a... Whoa, 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 Gabe. Hey, that's something great that we can teach. Really? Yeah. That's a great idea. The part about making up your mind. Ah, make up your mind. That's a good phrase to know. When you make up your mind, that means you make a choice about something. If you're not sure what to do, if there are two things that you could do, you need to make the choice and choose one of them. You need to make up your mind. So when you make up your mind, you have a choice between two things. Okay, I have two pieces of fruit here, Gabe. Oh, that's great, I have an Andrea. apple and an orange. Well, that's yeah. awesome. Uh, Gabe, yes? what are you doing? Oh, well, I'm just playing with your fruit. Okay, okay. No, what I need you to do is I need you to make up your mind. You can only choose one. Oh, only choose one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Driz, I hate decisions. Can you help me make up my mind? Okay, I'll help you. Mm. Oh, she mm. started to eat the apple. Mm. Well, I've made up my mind. Give me the orange. Please? Please give me the orange. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Driz. All right, now I want to share more of this song with you. There's more to share? Well, hey, what is it? Well, listen closely. The choice is yours. You'd better think it through. It's up to you. What would you do? Oh, 
was a decision to be made The choice is yours, you better think it through It's up to you, what would you do? What would you do? Conversation Replay Hi, Sarah. How was school? Great. We're doing presentations on world festivals. My presentation is next week. Which festival will you talk about? The Winter Carnival in Quebec. I can make snow cones for everyone. Great idea. I can help you. Or you could present Australia Day and talk about the cockroach races. I can help you. I found some cockroaches. What? Ben, you brought cockroaches into our house? Sarah, they're safe in the box. Don't worry. When is this winter carnival in Quebec? In February. It's the biggest winter carnival in the world. There are many cultural events. And they have a night parade. We should go. No thanks. I'll stay with my new friends. Calendar phrase. That's great, Andrea. Thank you for telling me all about your childhood. You know, I'd love to learn more about that. Really, Gabe? Yeah. Really? I think it would be great. But right now, we need to go to our calendar phrase. Today's calendar phrase oh. is, I'd love to learn more about that. I'd love to learn more about that. And you can use this phrase if you want to know more about something. I'd love to learn more about that. You know, Gabe, I would love to learn more about our calendar phrase. Well, you're in for a great treat because right now we have a calendar phrase coming right up. I'd love to learn more about that. I'd love to learn more about that. Do you know how to cook Chinese food? No, but I'd love to learn more about that. Me too. I'd love to learn more about that too. Who can we ask to teach us? My mom's a good cook. Maybe we can learn how to cook from her. Great! I'd love to learn more about that. I'd love to learn more about that. I'd love to learn more about that. Hello, everybody. It's now time for the question of the day. Eddie, do you have a question for us? Uh, I always have a question for the day. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, okay, I know what it is. What festival would you like to present about? What festival would you like to present about? Hmm, that's is a hard question to answer. You know, I think I would also like to present about a winter festival. There are so many fun things that you can do in the winter outside on the snow. Well, that is a great answer. How would you answer, everybody? All right, we want to thank you for joining us here on Let's Talk in English. We're on PTS and the radio. Learning English can be fun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Saturday right here on Let's Talk in English. On PTS and the radio, I'm Andrea. And I'm Gabe. Are you ready to review this week's lesson in Hualien? We hope you are. Yes, we were in Hualien this week and we'll be going there for one week every month. But this week, our story began. We met Patty and Patty is visiting Taiwan. That's right. She's visiting her grandma and we met her cousin Roger this week as well. And where did they go, friends? Do you remember Gabe? Do you remember where they went? Oh, right. Hmm. This time they went to a tea house. That's right. And we learned how to talk about dining out, going to a restaurant, and also about drinking tea. So friends, 
a good idea is for you to sit down, enjoy a nice cup of tea while you watch our Saturday review. Now, Gabe, what kind of tea are you drinking today? Well, today I am drinking green tea. It's not black tea. It's not chrysanthemum tea. It's just plain green tea. And green tea, of course, is very healthy, and we hope that you enjoy it. Gabe, is it good? Mm, it's amazing. Thank you. Good, good. All right, friends. We hope you enjoy our Saturday review. We'll go back to Hualien. Then we'll also see Thomas as he helps us beat the G-E-P-T. The G-E-P-T. All right, well, I am excited. Are you excited, Andrea? I am excited. I love Saturdays. All right, well, let's go and review and take a look at this week's lesson right now. Conversation Replay. Three people are in a car in Hualien. Grandma Jones is driving. Two of her grandchildren, Roger and Patty, are with her. They are going to a tea house. Grandma and Roger are telling Patty about Taiwan. Patty is excited. This is her second day in Taiwan. She is having a lot of fun already. Grandma, Roger, and Patty get to the tea house. It is beautiful. Patty thinks about tea. She remembers her last day with her mom. Patty, come and drink some tea with me. I can't, Mom. I'm too excited. I'm leaving for Taiwan today. <laughs> I know, but have some tea. Sit down and relax. Okay, okay. Let me pour the tea for you. I can't do this again for three months. Are you sad, Mom? Yes, my little girl is leaving. Mom, I'm not little. I'm 17 years old. Patty, I have something for you. A journal? <laughs> Thanks. Write about all your Taiwan adventures. Okay. Thanks, Mom. You are staying with your dad's brother and his family, but please go see my sister and her family too. <laughs> okay. Explore Hualien, take a lot of pictures, but be careful. I know. Don't worry, Mom. Okay, honey. I love you. Patty, are you listening to us? What? Oh, Grandma, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about Mom. I understand. Your mom is wonderful. My son married the right girl. <laughs> so, Patty, what is your favorite tea? I like all kinds of tea. Well, which kind do you like best? Green, red, or oolong tea? Red tea? What's that? It's black tea. People call it red tea here. Interesting. Here is a menu, Patty. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> I can't read Chinese. You can't? Well, you're going to learn to read some Chinese this summer. <laughs> okay. Do you like fruit tea? Or how about flower tea? Flowers in tea. Yeah, like chamomile or jasmine. Oh, those are flowers? I didn't know. Can you just choose something for me? Good idea. Roger, you come here often. Choose something wonderful for Patty. There are so many teas on the menu. How can you choose just one? You keep coming back until you try them all. And 
There are other things on the menu besides tea. Really? Do they have coffee? No, not at this tea house, but they do have some food. Food? At a tea house? Cool! Let's order some food. Hi, Roger. Who is this? Do you have a new girlfriend? She's pretty. Thank you. But I'm not Roger's girlfriend. I'm his grandmother. <laughs> I know, Mrs. Jones. Hi, Derek. This is my cousin, Patty. She's staying with us this summer. Hello, Patty. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. You don't look like Roger. <laughs> well, our dads are brothers, but my mom is Chinese. She's from Hualien. Derek, we're ready to order. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Derek. I am your waiter today. What can I get for you? I would like some oolong tea. I would like some green tea, and Patty will have fruit tea. We'd also like some chicken feet and blood rice cake. Okay, I'll be right back. Chicken feet? Yes, you'll love them. <laughs> wow, Taiwan really is different from America. Here is your tea and food. Oh, this looks so pretty. The teapots and the little teacups. I have to take a picture. I can take the picture, Patty. You can be in it. That will be more beautiful. Oh, okay. Wait, let's pour some tea into the cups. Then, let's hold our cups. Are you okay? I think so. Wow, that's hot. I haven't had traditional tea like this for years. We usually use tea bags in America. Are you sure you didn't burn your fingers, Patty? Yeah. I'm okay. Look, my fingers aren't even red. These little teacups get really hot really fast. I remember now. How's your tea, Patty? It's wonderful. You should try some of mine, too. Okay. Ouch! Derek! You burned me. What? No, I didn't, Jim. Yes, you did. You spilled a pot of tea on me. Look at my clothes. They're all wet. And so is my arm. Uh, I'm really sorry. How did that happen? I didn't touch your teapot. Yes, you did. You are a terrible server. You should be fired. Fired? No, I really need this job. Excuse me, I'm sure it was just an accident. How do you know? Did you see it happen? Well, no. Did anyone here see what happened? That's what I thought. Derek wouldn't spill hot tea on you on purpose. Well, he did. I am going to talk to your boss. Lao Ban, Lao Ban. Excuse me, but Jim is lying. Dear Journal. I'm having Taiwan adventures already. Grandma and Roger took me to a traditional tea house yesterday. The building was beautiful and the tea was delicious. 
I liked drinking tea made from tea leaves instead of tea bags. <laughs> I also liked the blood rice cake. It was yummy. Grandma told me about other tea houses she has been to. She has lived in Taiwan for 50 years, so she's been to a lot of tea houses. A really exciting thing happened at the tea house. A customer, Jim, said that Derek, our server, spilled hot tea on him and burned him. But Jim didn't act like he was in pain. Also, if Jim's skin were burned, it should be red and hot. His arm was wet, but not red. So, I knew he lied. Then, we checked Jim's table. His pot of tea was almost full, and we found a half-empty water bottle. Jim must have poured the water on himself. We found out that Jim is jealous of Derek. Jim wanted Derek's job, but the boss hired Derek instead of Jim. Well, I'm going to bed. It's only 8 o'clock, but jet lag is making me so tired. The Taiwan Traveler, Patty. Song time. <sighs> what should I do? Well, let's call our waitress in and see if she can get you some more tea. Okay, but before we do that, we should say thank you to everyone for joining us today. We'll see you next week on Let's Talk in English. On PTS and on the radio. Have a great weekend, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.